We're up here at Willis Performance. We've got Brian Wolf, and today we're going to take a look at some great new parts from Holly. Brian, what do we got? Yeah, what we have is we have the new Holly front accessory drive kit for the Godzilla. Now, hopefully, people saw the unboxing video that Abe and I did. Right. But if not, we're going to have it in the link below, right? Absolutely. All right. So that video was showing close up of all the individual parts as we were unboxing it. This video is all about installing it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull the front cover off of this and then we're going to start with the Holly front cover and then work our way out and install the entire accessories. This engine, I measured it before we started and from the end of this valve cover to the end of the alternator is about 29 inches. Now this only has a single Fiat component, just the alternator. The stock engine would have an AC compressor down here and it would have a power steering pump over here. AC compressor is, sticks out a little bit proud of, of this side, but one of the things about the Holley, like most of the aftermarket kits, is they try to bring this engine in really tight package. So, you know, package is more like a Windsor. So before we install the Holley front accessory drive on a Godzilla engine, I wanted to welcome our new channel sponsor, Testo North America. Testo North America is the world's largest manufacturer of handheld test and measurement instrumentation and software for HVAC, food safety, pharma compliance, and combustion analysis. And you can check out Testo at testo.com. Okay, so we pulled the front cover off and the damper off. Uh, next step is we're going to be putting the Holly front cover on it. But before I do it, I have to scrape all this RTV off, and I hate scraping RTV. All right, let's take a look at the stock front cover here, and then Brian's got the Holly. The Holly has some great features, right? Absolutely. So first, uh, the stock front cover it does have O-rings around the three water passages, but all the oil sealing surfaces, which is around the entire perimeter and around these two fasteners have RTV. The Holly has a O-ring groove around the entire perimeter along with O-rings on both sides. Now, one thing that's kind of hard to appreciate from here is see how narrow the Holly front cover is compared to the stock front cover, which again was designed to fit the Super Duty, so width wasn't a big deal. Let's slip them around, Devin. I think it might be even easier to see. So again, if you look at the, the, uh, the frame size, Holly much narrower, much more compact, and you'll really see that when we put the front and accessory drive on. <laughs> okay, we're getting ready to put the front cover on. So one thing I really enjoyed was that Holly already had the dowels put in place, so I didn't have to scramble through the bag of stuff and find the little dowels and press them in. They're already there. Again, the one thing is, and I don't know if they're what their you know future plans are, but uh, with the stock or the 417 Motorsport pan, we still have a little bit of RTV we need to put on the bottom lip. So nowhere near as bad as having to put RTV around everything. So I really like having all this O-ring uh, stuff ready. So we're going to go ahead and put the front cover on. And one of the things, I really don't run these down tight, but I do just snug them up a little bit before I put them on. Tighten them up with the ratchet. Another nice thing about the Holly kit, it comes with a tool to install the crank seal. Basically, it just goes on over the tool that you would use to install the damper, and you can push that on. Now, most people will have a press and a kit to do that, but a lot of people don't. So if you don't, this allows you to do that. One thing I did find is this crankshaft we double keyed in case we wanted to run a blower down the road. With that, um, this tool does not have the keyway slots in it, so we'll have to modify that offline. Or I may just pull the cover off and just use the press as I normally do to put the seal in.
Okay, next thing we're installing is the water inlet. So this would be the radiator bottom water going into the water pump. One of the things that's different on the Holly system is on the stock uh, Godzilla, the water comes on the other side of the engine, comes in on the driver's side. This comes in on the passenger side. And the other thing that's pretty slick about this is on the casting itself, there's an O-ring in here, which seals on this center piece, what is, which is the water connection. So you got a nice O-ring seal, but it also allows you to have some flexibility on where you're gonna have, bring that water in based on the vehicle package. So I think that was extremely good thinking uh, from the Holly team to try to figure out, well, we know we can't you know, make it perfect for everybody, but maybe we can give it a best chance to make it perfect for everybody. So I really like that feature. Okay, as you can see, we have all the components installed. Um, a couple things I do want to point out. We do have the BTR low riser intake on this for nice hood clearance with some Fox body. We do have a very, I'd say, unacceptably tight condition to uh, this particular throttle body. It's possible with the drive-by-wire throttle body or turning it upside down, everything would fit. Uh, there's also another BTR intake that comes and points it straight forward. However, that gives you a little bit less hood clearance. So I want to have full disclosure on that. So if you say, hey, I saw in the video that you had that set up and you never said anything, I just don't want to steer anybody the wrong way. So this comes with a very complete set of instructions. But like most of us, going to the instructions is like admitting defeat. So we put, we we're able to, this was so intuitive, we were able to put really most of it together without looking at it. So the last step is, can I get the belt routing correct without looking at these instructions. So we'll see if that, uh, how that works. Because normally I'm very, very bad at this and I have to beg for mercy and go to the instructions for how that fits. So let's see if we can get this right. It's, this may not be right, but it looks like it'll fit. So I guess that's just as good if it's right or wrong, right? I might have to dial a friend here to get this last little bit on. Yeah. Oh. Where's Evan when I need him? Right here, dude. Get your little skinny ass in here. Pull that off the alternator. Or no, pull it around this thing right here. And we'll put it on there last. All right, this goes under here. That goes that way. Now we gotta pull this back over here. Yeah, it should be. Look at that. I got it. Good job. Evan to the rescue, as usual, right when we need him, just in time. So, as you saw, we have the uh, front end on, and now we added the beauty cover. So, we have a beauty cover for the tensioner, a beauty cover for the AC compressor, beauty cover for the alternator. So, this looks really great, and as Abe mentioned earlier, um, this looks factory with the cast finishes, etc. The base system, no beauty covers, but with all the accessories and the front end, the front cover is about two-ish grand, I think. And if you want everything in black powder coated, I think it's about $2,600 or $2,700. So I think it's pretty good value. Um, looks great. And we did measure, you know, across the engine, it's now 26 inches, so it's three inches narrower. Right. And, and as you can see, it tucked everything in, so it's, a, it's no broader than the base engine. So I think the guys at Holly did a fine job with this. Yeah, I think if you're doing a Fox body swap or a street rod 
or just anything where you've got space limitations, plus the fact that it just looks way cooler with it tucked in because you want to see the engine. You don't want accessories hanging way off the thing.